Do you want to achieve images that highlight your product images like this? This really neat style of separating the background from the subject by color or lack of color in the background can be used to feature your product or service graphics. And you don't have to have advanced skills in Photoshop to do this. In fact, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make them for your business graphics using Canva. Welcome back to the channel. This is Jelly from Life Marketing, a digital marketing agency committed to helping small businesses grow. Editing your photos in the way we're going to be doing in this video can be used for images of either products or services. Having a black and white background with just your subject item in full color automatically draws your audience's eyes towards it, clearly communicating exactly what part of the image you want them to focus on. And what's great about this style is it's a very quick process to do using your Pro Canva account. First step is to set up your canvas. Click create a design, pick one of the preset sizes, or type in the dimensions you want for your image. You can set the size for a website or social media banner, a blog thumbnail, a newsletter graphic, among other options. But for this guide, I want to use it for a standard social media post. So I'm going to keep it in a resolution of 1080 by 1080. Then we'll just let the design page load in our browser. Step two is to set up containers where your images will be. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. So the way we'll edit our image is by having two separate layers of the same image. We'll set the layer behind to black and white, then leave the layer above it colored and use the background remove tool to remove its background, leaving only our subject visible and colored with a black and white layer visible in the background. To do this, we'll need a container. Go to the Elements tab, look for grids, and add one of these square grids for now, and we'll duplicate it later once our image is in it. Third step is to upload your product image. I'm using a stock photo from Canva's image library for this guide here. But I do recommend that you upload your actual product image into Canva for this exercise. As a rule of thumb, try to avoid using stock photos for any graphic where you're trying to highlight what you actually sell. We've previously done a video on how to shoot quality product images with your phone, so be sure to check that out if you don't have your own product images just yet. Once you have your image uploaded, you want to drag and drop it into your container and then hit Command C and Command V. That gives us a duplicate of the container and the image in it. Now we want to adjust it to be sure both are in the same position. Next is to set the background. Let's move the top layer to the right just a bit for now. Select the layer behind it and click Edit Image and change saturation to negative 100. You can also play around with these two settings above it if you want to edit the brightness and contrast of your image. Once your background is in black and white, we can move the top layer back to its correct position. Once in its place, while still having it selected, click the Edit Image button and this time click BG Remover. And voila, we have our finished image. Canva's background remover tool can sometimes miss the mark in perfectly cropping your images out of their backgrounds, but you can manually edit what part of the image to keep or remove by using the erase and restore buttons that show up once you've clicked the BG remover tool. You can upload images edited this way on their own or incorporate it into a design graphic. And that is it for today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more design or image editing guides like this. And subscribe to our channel for more essential digital marketing guides. This is Jelly from Life Marketing and I'll see you in the next one.